Hello there, Year 5. It's Mr Shepherd here, and I am here to talk you through week three of your Year 5 um, computing curriculum. So for our lessons, what you are going to need is access to your Purple Mash account. So if you have not yet managed to log yourself in, it is really important that you make sure you've got your username and your login and that you go to our Purple Mash page for Harris Garrard. If you do those things, you'll be able to use the software inbuilt in there to complete our spring term unit. Now this is starting in week three. So this is your first lesson in week three. And I'm going to talk you through today about your unit on spreadsheets and how you can use these effective to organize and sort data when you are looking at different elements. Now, I am going to be with you today and talking through each step in turn. You may want to pause me, rewind me, or you might want to skip ahead a little bit to make sure that you can touch in with what you should be doing at each point during your lesson. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes now if you want to make sure that you can just log into Purple Mash, have that up and ready to go as I then move on to talk about some of your vocabulary and what we're we'll doing today. So Hopefully you've done that now, you've got yourself onto Purple Mash and you've come back to me to talk through the next bit of our learning. Now, the key thing I want to talk through today is that when you're looking at conversions, you know in mathematics when you have to convert numbers such as 150 millimetres and you've got to put it into centimetres or metres and things like that, or maybe you've got something in centimetres, 325 centimetres, you've got to put that into metres. It can be quite tricky, but have a think now about how you would go about doing that. What calculation would you need to do? If I had... 250 centimeters what would that be in meters what would i have to do to that 250 centimeters to convert it into meters hopefully you're thinking i would need to divide it by 100 so 250 centimeters if i divide 250 by 100 i'd end up with 2.5 and that would be the number of meters because remember meters are quite long and centimeters are very short OK, so if I have 100 centimetres, I've got one metre. If I have 1.5 metres, I would have to times that by 100, 150 to get the number of centimetres. That's an important learning that you might need for today's lesson when we look at how we can use spreadsheets to help us use and do that information. So key words that you need to make sure that you have got and you will learn and use today. First one is a spreadsheet. That is the entire document table that we will be using in our learning today. Now we often use on Office Excel to do this, but we'll be using the Purple Mash software because it's a little bit easier to use. It's called To Calculate, and I'll show you that in a few moments time. We're looking at cells. Now these are the individual boxes you can put information into inside of your spreadsheet. You've got columns, that's our rows, uh, that's the bits going down in our cells. So we'll have columns coming down and we have rows going across. Formula, that's a really important word, but all it really means is a number sentence. A formula is something we want it to do. So if we wanted to times by three, the cell before, we call that the formula. And I'll be showing you how you can make your own formulas in our lesson today. You've then got the formula wizard. Now the formula wizard is where we can create really quick, easy formulas for our work today. And I'll show you where that is when we get into our purple mash. And finally, you've got the copy and paste functions. Now we're not really looking at too much of those today in our learning, but they're really useful for getting information from one place to another really quickly. OK, so I am now going to share my screen with you so you can see how you get on to Purple Mash. So if you haven't already, please make sure that you have got yourself onto Purple Mash and that you can see what I can see up on my screen. So you should have your Purple Mash window open like this. You should see all of these areas here now. I may well have set this as a to-do for this week. So if you go into your to-dos here, you might find that To-Calculate is already in there, ready for you to use. But you might find that there's uh, nothing in there. So if you uh, do need to go into it yourself, you can do as well. But I'm also just going to bring up for you exactly what you need in terms of your To-Calculate work today. So the key thing that you should find in your To-Calculate work will be as follows. You will find that you have got this conversion spreadsheet example. This is the first thing that you will be using in your learning. So in your to do, you will find that you've got this ready for our learning today. And now you should remember and you should have seen this in a previous year's learning when we've looked at Excel grids and copying and pasting into cells. But if you haven't 
don't worry at all. Okay, we're gonna talk through each step of what you're gonna to need today in order to use this. So can you see here, guys, I've got everyone on the side here, I've got meters in this cell. So we call this the spreadsheet, and here is the cell. Now, I am going to click on this button at the top here that makes it in a bit more of advanced mode, because you are my year fives, so I'm sure you can be very advanced. If I click on that, it just gives me a bit of information all around these boxes on what is going on. So here I've now got my cells. So I know that in A1, in that cell, I've got M for meter. In E1 over here, I've got SCM for centimeter. Now down here, I've got a range of different meters. I've got one meter, seven meters, and 567 meters. Now I want to convert these into centimeters. That's what I want to happen. I want the centimeters to show over on this side. Now, there's lots of ways I can do this. I'm gonna share with you one way you can do this first of all, and this will be your first task. So the first task I would like to complete is as follows. I would like you to click on the cell next to the one, so B2, and on the right hand side here, can you see that I've got a range of different operations I can do? I can add, subtract, times, divide. I want to times. When we sort of, if we want to make, go from meters to centimeters, I need to times. So if I click times there, it puts the times in that box here. And then I want to times it by what do I want to times it by? I want to times it by 100. So I can click in here one, zero, zero. Now, if I wanted to equal that in the final box, I need to put in this box an equal sign. And then can you see it appears for me there? I have my 100 in that other box. Right, I would like you to pause me in a few moments and I would like to have a go at putting in the same operations for one meter, seven meters and 567 meters and see if you can therefore get centimeters in these boxes. Have a go, pause me now and see if this is able to be supported. Have a go. Okay, are you back? Have you had a go? Let's have a look together and see how we would do that. So let's see if you've got the same answers as I did. So if I'm going to put in all of my times boxes here, then I'm going to put in all of my equals box. Now I'm going to put in here that I want to times by 100 again, and I want to times by 100 again here. Notice it puts in the information as I go along into this box. Well done if you've managed to, to do that. Now your next task, your next challenge is as follows. I want to see if you can, before I show you, to see if you can create another formula to make it go from centimeters on this side into meters on this side. So if you want to have a quick go at that now, do you want to see if you can put that in for me and show me if you can do that? So Halloween, in order to make that work, have a go and see what you can do. Okay, did you do it? Did you have a go? Did you see it? I hope you have. I hope you've paused me. I hope you're not carrying on just and seeing how I do it as well. So then all I can do is here, I want to divide, don't I? That's the operation I need to do on this side. So I'm going to click on my divide button. And again, it's divide by 100. Now I can, and then I'm going to put equals on this side and I will get my answer. So 300 centimeters, I can convert to make three meters. Okay, I want to do one more to make sure you've definitely got the right answer. You've definitely managed to do the formula. Let's try this one again together. So I put in my 100, I put in my parts there. Do I get the right answer? 1.75 meters, that is Kyle. Now, if you've had a go at this, there is one more challenge I would like you to do. Now, for this challenge, you're gonna to have to come out of this window. If you want to save this, you can click on the right click button here. You can save this work as your name and you can hand it in. You can share it with your teacher to show them that you've been able to convert from meters to centimeters and from centimeters to meters. The second task, if you go back to your home screen, click on the tools, you can then go to the mathematics area over on this side and the formula, the, sorry, the software we've been using is to calculate. So if you click on the window that looks just like the one we were working on, but it will give you the freedom to make your own. So can you see there now, it's opened it up here and I've got this little box that comes through. Now it's not a lesson that I want to come across with. I'm gonna go onto sheet. And I'm just gonna click on this one here with the number of squares. Okay, that looks very similar. Now again, I'm gonna click on this to go into advanced mode. And I've now got the boxes here. Now, in your last window, you created the formula in the cells themselves. And it meant that it was very busy. You had lots of things going on. We can cut that down and put the formula, the times 100 or the divide by 100 into one cell. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do now. So to do this, I need to do some setup. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put centimeters in this box. I'm gonna put meters in this box. I'm then going to put on this side, I'm gonna put meters in this box and centimeters in this box. I'm also now going to put over on G here, I'm gonna put the number 100, because that's the number I'm gonna be needing to use today for our learning. 
can you have a go at this now and see if you can just put in this data into a purple mash? Once you've done that, unpause me, come back, and we'll talk through the very next step on how to do this. So do that for me now. Pause me now. And welcome back. Hopefully your spreadsheet looks exactly like mine. That You set out your boxes with all of these things here. OK, now, for example, if I wanted to put here, I've got my say I've got 250 centimeters and I want in this box it to tell me how many that would be in center uh, in meters. I can put that formula and remember, think about what that formula was to go from centimeters to meters. I needed to divide the centimeters by 100. I can do that using our formula wizard. Now that is this box up here. Can you see a little F and a times and a little wizard's uh, wand? I'm going to click on that and I get this formula wizard box. And this has got a simple set of instructions that we can now follow. So we're going to follow this simple set. Don't click on advanced, stay in simple. The first thing I need to do is I need to select the first cell in the calculation. Now the first cell is this 250 box and that cell is A2. So I click on A2. Two. Can you see it's put A2 into that box for me there. Now I need to choose the operation. That now, remember, to go from centimeters to meters, I need to, that's why I need to divide by 100. So I'm going to put the divide in there. Oh, I put the plus sign there. I've made a mistake. If you make a mistake, come out of this, go back into the formula and start again. I need to make sure that I've got the cell I want the information to come into across here. So first hit the cell, 250. That's the one I want to appear in here. 250 in that A2 box. I was having a bit of trouble. I'm going to try one more time with this. So I'm putting the formula in here. Click on this first cell of the calculation. Put that on there for me now. See if that wants to load for me. And oh, select the operation. Let's see if that worked for me now. Oh, it's having a bit of trouble. Let me try one more time and then I'll come out of this and I'll try one more time to make sure it works. So I want to put in my calculation formula into this box. First step, select the calculations coming from. It's coming from A2. If that's having trouble, again, I'm just going to pause you and try if I can fix this. I might come out. If you ever have a problem, try and close it down, go back into it. Often that will fix the problem. Okay. So if I go back into it here, sorry, you can fast forward this bit if you come through a bit. Let's make sure I've got my boxes back up. So I've got my cells. I'm going to sheet again. I'm going to the one there where I've got the sides there. I'm making it advanced. I'm putting in centimeter into this first one, meter into the second one, meter in here, centimeter here, and I'm putting a hundred up in this box here. I'm now putting my formula into this box so that whatever appears here in this box, my formula comes in here. I click formula wizard. The first cell of my calculation is A2. There we go, now it's working. I want to divide, and I want to divide by 100. So I'm going to click on this box here, the G2 box, with the last part of my calculation. So it's going to be A2, whatever's in A2, divide by 100. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, no matter what I now put in centimeters box, it will convert it automatically into meters for me. So if I put in 450 centimeters, it will convert it immediately into that other window. How clever is that? Can you have a go at that now and see if you can put that formula into B2 for that first one there. And if you want to get really ahead, can you do the same thing for these two boxes here where whatever I put into D2, it does the calculation for me and makes it into centimeters. Can you have a go at that for me now? I'm going to pause you there and I'll come back and we'll share it in a minute. So pause it and come back. And let's see, how did that go? Did you manage to have a go at that? Let's have a go at this one together. So I click on the cell that I want the information to come into. I then click on my formula wizard. I click on the first cell of the calculations. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit here. The first cell of the calculation is going to be D2. This time I need to times, don't I? If I've got 1.5 meters, I need to times that by 100 in order to get centimeters, so I times. And I need that 100 box here again, that G box there to put in my answer. I'm gonna click OK and put in my answer. Now, if I've got, uh, let's have, let's see if I can do this with 5.6, 5.6 meters makes 560 centimeters. What a fantastic way of making this work. Now, your challenge is, if you would like to have another go with this, can you use this same example here to create something from millimeters to centimeters? Can you create something from millimeters to meters? 
have a go and see if you can create your own conversion tables, creating things that can go from one measurement to another. If you really want to impress, you could go online and find out what is the conversion from inches to feet and see if you could do something along a different type of conversion. Whatever you complete, save that for us using the same system across here. You can save using the exit button here or click in the purple box here, click save, and then you can hand it in and share it with your teacher. I can't wait to see what you get on with your learning. Next week, there will be another video where I share with you your next computing lesson in week four. Have a go, let us know how you get on, and I can't wait to see you next week. Have a great time, guys.